The LiveScope G9 is a bedside monitor with several configurations for a wide range of patients. The input unit is separated from the screen. LiveScope G9 monitors basic parameters like ECG, respiration, SpO2, NIBP, IBP, CO2, and temperature. PICO and EEG are possible by using additional units. For each parameter, you can monitor, store the data, and alarm when the patient condition changes. LiveScope G9 can be connected to central nursing stations and can monitor patient data from different places. On the front of the LiveScope G9 core unit, you can see the power button. The LiveScope G9 uses the input unit in the separate data acquisition unit. The DAO is connected to the monitor at the rear panel. All input units and the transport monitors can be used with the LiveScope G9. On the front of the DAO, you will find the operation keys for silence alarms, NIBP interval, NIBP start stop, press all zero, and home. On the left side, you can find two multi-link sockets and a unit connection socket to connect the DAO to the LiveScope G9 core unit. On the right side, you will find the input unit socket and four multi-connector sockets. Press the power button to turn the power on. To turn the power off, press and hold the power button for more than one second and touch Power Off on the screen. Touch Admit Discharge to go to the Admit screen. Enter the patient information by touching items and using the keyboard. After input the data, touch Set to return to the Admit window. Touch Admit and New Patient. To access the Admit screen, you can also touch the patient's name area at the upper left. Touch Menu Home to go back to the main screen. The bedside monitor has now started monitoring the patient. When you discharge a patient, touch Admit Discharge to go to the Admit screen. Then, touch Discharge. Touch Discharge and New Patient. When we discharge the patient, all the patient data will be erased. Press Menu Home to open the menu screen. Here you can find several functions. To go back to the main screen, touch Menu Home or the Waveform Display area. You can also touch Numeric Data to go to the parameter settings directly. You can configure the function keys at the bottom to go to frequent screens directly. To change the ECG settings, touch Menu Home and ECG. Or touch the heart rate value. You can see the alarm limit settings in the basic settings window. You can adjust the upper or lower alarm limits by touching each parameter. You can also find the sensitivity and lead setting. Touch each selection to change them. When you start monitoring, the LiveScope G9 will learn the normal ECG as reference for arrhythmia detection. If the arrhythmia detection is inaccurate due to a change of the ECG baseline, you can perform learning the current ECG waveform by touching Learn. Touch Arrhythmia Alarm to adjust the alarms by touching Value, Up or Down, or the On or Off buttons. You can also change the ST Alarm, Arrhythmia Analysis Setting, ST Point, Pacemaker and others by touching each tab. It is the same procedure to change the settings of SPO2.
Touch Menu and SPO2. Or touch the SPO2 value to adjust the upper or lower alarm limit. You can also change the Detail Settings from the Detail Settings tab. Touch the NIBP value to adjust the upper or lower alarm limit. To start manual NIBP measurement, touch Manual Start. To start the interval NIBP measurement, select the interval time. Then touch Interval Start. If you need a continuous NIBP, tap on Stat Start. NIBP will be measured continuously for 5 minutes as a default setting. To stop an IBP measurement, touch Stop All. You can also start an IBP from customized keys on the main screen. Tap on an IBP Start Stop for the manual measurement, or tap on Interval X Minutes Start for interval and IBP measurement. For invasive blood pressure, touch the IBP value to change the alarm limit by adjusting each parameter for each IBP label. For zero calibration, expose the blood pressure line to the air and touch zero for each IBP label. You can also perform zero calibration for all lines at the same time. Expose all lines to the air and touch zero all. You can change scales, labels, cursor, and the other settings from each tab as well. Touch the temperature value to adjust the alarm limit. You can change the labels and other settings. Touch the CO2 value to adjust the alarm limit. In case of using the P910A, CO2 sensor. To start the CO2 monitoring, touch Cal Air. Expose the airway adapter to the air and perform zero calibration by touching Start. For the P907 CO2 sensor, zero calibration is not necessary. You can also select each parameter setting from the Detail Settings tab at the top. In case of an alarm, LiveScope G9 shows an alarm message with a level color, blue, yellow, and red, a specific sound for the alarm levels, and highlighted numeric data. You can silence the alarm by touching Silence Alarms. LiveScope G9 can store numeric data and up to five selected waveforms for 168 hours. All the waveforms for 168 hours with the SSD option. You can review the data on the trend graph, vital list, full disclosure, ST recall, ST review, alarm history, arrhythmia recall, ECG analysis results, EMO graph, and EEG trend. You can also record or print data by touching the recorder or printer icon, depending on the configuration. To review data from each review screen, Touch Menu and select the review screen you would like to see. You can also switch to the other review screens by touching the desired tab at the top. Each review screen shows the same time data. To review the waveform data at a specific time on the trend graph, just switch from the trend graph to the full disclosure screen. At the trend graph, you can change parameters from settings. You can add up to six parameters by touching the parameter on the right. The scale can be changed by touching Scale. To change the time period and display time, touch Length of Time and select the time. By using the left and right arrow icons or touching the screen, you can see the trend graph data at the time. 
Up to five trend patterns can be configured based on your requirements. At the vital sign list, you can change parameters from settings. You can also change the interval time by touching Time Interval. Up to six vital sign list pattern can be configured based on your requirements. To see the vital sign list when NIBP is measured, touch NIBP list. At the full disclosure window, you can change parameters from settings. You can change the scales at the scale selection. You can select the display waveform type among 12, 20, 30, or 60 seconds per trace. To review a detailed waveform, tap on it and the expanded waveform will be shown in a zoomed window. Go back to full disclosure by tapping on X. At the alarm history, you can see which alarms occurred in the past. You can filter by priority and display type. At the arrhythmia recall, you can see the arrhythmia event list with the ECG waveform. To review a detailed waveform in the Zoom In window, touch an event. To go back to arrhythmia recall, touch X. When LiveScope G9 is connected to a network, you can also access several patients' data being monitored on other bedside monitors. By using the interbed function, you can see the monitoring data and alarms of up to 32 beds remotely. Touch interbed at the bottom in the menu window. It is possible to have an overview of up to 16 patients at a screen. You can switch to the other 16 patients by touching the Group 1 or Group 2 tab. To see more detailed data like waveforms, touch the patient display area. Then, an individual bed window will be shown. When touching the numeric data, you can see the waveform for the parameter below, the ECG waveform. Go back to the interbed screen by tapping on X. With the advanced bed function, you can monitor up to two patients' data remotely on the bottom of the home screen. When a patient is transferred to another bed, you can transfer the data from the current bedside monitor to the next one by using a transport function with the LiveScope PT. Touch Admit Discharge at the bottom and Transport Data. Then the Remove message appears. Tap on Yes and wait until Remove the Input Unit is displayed. Now you can remove the LiveScope PT transport monitor from the bedside monitor. At the destination bedside monitor, plug in the LiveScope PT. Confirm that the transfer patient information is correct, then touch Yes.